My name's Jock Gammon and I'm the director of Jungle Fi. Jungle Fi is all about jungle fying our cities. So we're bringing the urban space to life by incorporating green walls and green roofs into the, the urban space, urban environment. In the next 20, 30 years, 80% of the world's population is going to be living in cities and we need to make these cities much more livable. We set up Jungle Fi back in 2009. It was myself with a horticulture background, my wife with a science background, and another partner, Al, who had a construction background. The three of us set up Jungle Fi to meet a, a need within the cities for different type of landscaping. Um, we've grown into a company now of 12 people. Our first green wall was at an office over in Chatswood. Now we've got about 14 or 15 projects around New South Wales that we look after, four or five down in Victoria, four or five projects down in Canberra. My life has gone through a few different uh, iterations. I started off as an accountant, but it's something that I've never really enjoyed. Uh, I used to get dragged out by mum to go and clean up her mess in the garden on the weekends, and I think from that I developed a, a love for gardening and then started to get a bit itchy fingers wanting to try something new and saw the green walls and green roofs as a, a fantastic opportunity to, to bring some life back into the cities. Um, we've got three kids and, and just seeing the way that the the world is growing and expanding and the, the way that cities are developing. Just wanting to create a, an environment and a world where, where people have got a much better future. Buildings such as the one that we're in now, One Central Park, is all about bringing the whole building to life. So the whole building is just draped in, in greenery and it's got one of the largest green walls in the world. It's 1120 square metres of Patrick Blanc's vertical gardens. At the time of design, they were the biggest green walls in the world. Uh, there's a project now in Singapore that's just trumped it, but it's still the highest green walls in the world. There's planter boxes cantilevered off every floor. If you were to stack the planter boxes end to end, it's, they would run for seven kilometres. The green walls have 38,000 plants, and if we did some rough calculations, if one person was to do with the planting, it would take them a year, working every day of the year, to get all the plants in. So it's a pretty phenomenal um, project. The, the green walls in, on One Central Park have been particularly challenging. All of the plants, uh, 380 different plant species, had to be specifically procured for this project. They're all grown ready for a 16 month install. When it starts to go out to 28 months, the plants are obviously growing out of their pots. They needed to be re-chopped back and repotted, I think, four times. My wife, she's petrified of heights, so she was very concerned about me doing it, and I think she sort of got, made me get a bit worked up about it. But actually, when you, when you start to go out there, even just lowering down one or two metres, it just had that feeling of actually getting closer to the closer to the ground and it was some, in some way reassuring. As part of improving the lives of people living in the cities, we see that air quality is one of the biggest issues. There's a study done that if we were to lock ourselves in a little fishbowl, we could live with 14 plants and that would be enough to actually support our carbon dioxide exchange and, and oxygen exchange. So and we're developing a green wall system that has the ability to breathe so we can actually cycle air from the indoor air environment through the green wall and actually pump cleaner air back out into the into the environment. We want to jungle for the cities. That's that's our I guess our key driver is to, to see as much greenery, whether it's on rooftops, walls, facades, ceilings. I mean we'd, we'd like to find out whether we can grow them on ceilings. Water is obviously a challenge to uh, to make make sure it goes where you want it to go, but I mean the, the possibilities are endless. If you want to push the boundaries or, or make a difference then you've got to try, try new things. Some will work, some won't, but again if you're not, not giving it a go then you're never going to know. That's it. I just made that up and it rhymes. <laughs>